world is a real crowd, please. Small world, all the friends know of me. Hey everybody, it's DeAndre Marie and Rolanda. And this is You're Gonna Regret This. Well, girls, I'm feeling a little sad today. Why? You know, lately I've been feeling a little rejected. Oh no. No, for real. I mean, I was never like a huge Okay, I, oh. I may have been a little player like back in the day. I, but I, I don't know say. anything about that. <laughs> I'm sure there aren't many, many, many people who would agree. <laughs> yeah, no, I've mm -hmm. never really been no. chose, right? So no, <laughs> but as far as like women that I really find myself attracted to, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling a little, I don't know, rejected. And I put myself out there a little bit. I mean, I'm not, you know, chasing down anyone uh -huh. but it's like you know i give my number or i get a number and it's just like it doesn't really do anything golly yeah this is this is another sad <laughs> <laughs> no i mean i'm not about to wear my sadness but deep down somewhere i'm just a little sad i think it'd be nice to have someone to like talk to you know more than a friend but i don't know those seem to be going that way well, you know, you just give yourself some time. I'm sure some biddy's gonna come your way. Oh, that's it? Just a biddy? Not a bad biddy, not a bad brown skin with nice smile, beautiful biddy? We're not gonna be specific? Goal-oriented, <laughs> cultured, book smart, street smart, fly. <laughs> Goes to Rolanda, I know I can't be the only one between us two that's ever gotten rejected. Like, oh, I've gotten rejected, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> you trying to spill the tea? Spilling. <laughs> I guess so. Yes, I love I good tea. So. Um, ooh, I don't know where to. S oh, rejection. <laughs> what you mean? Okay, picture. <laughs> It's um, 2006, 2007. Okay. Um, there was this guy that I had been in high school with, but you know, we had graduated. Okay. And he was like, we were hanging out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were hanging out and we would like go out to eat and like, we were really, like we got really, really super close. Okay. And I was just kind of like, okay, like this is fun. We could probably date. Okay. And um, he was like, nah. Just straight he was like, like that? nah. Yeah. Yeah. Why? He's like, we're never going to date. He said those words? Yeah. Wow, he gave yeah. it to you straight. What'd you do, bro? Well, it made sense because oh. his family was racist. So <laughs> you, like, ain't give, you ain't paint the whole picture. <laughs> that was a plot twist. Plot twist. He was racist. Wow! So, yeah. so he was like hiding you, girl. Essentially, I don't like that. Yeah. Well, I should. You should let me know. I would have. Oh, I mean, put the paws on real quick. No. <laughs> <laughs> My small paw. I pack precious, a punch, though. That was a precious little paw. <laughs> it's not the size of the paw, but the power I'm behind you. <laughs> okay. So anyway. Are you gonna put on your shades and just start coming for me? Is this a DeAndre Marie roast? Not today. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Rolanda, for sparing me yet another episode. But wow. So what did you, how did you react to that? Well, I was really pissed. Oh, okay. I mean, I wasn't surprised because right. I knew that I was, I mean, I knew to a degree that I was being right. hidden. Oh. Um, but, like, I don't know. It was harsh. It was a harsh sort of rejection. Like, he could have been a little nicer about it. I was sorry, pissed. Girl. I was pissed for a while and then like when we spent time away I was kind of like oh he wasn't very smart and he was kind of racist. Like at first I knew his family was racist but I was like no like he's cool but like he's kind of racist. He made he was making some sly comments. He was just less racist than yeah, less no, racist than no. his racist ass family. <laughs> right, right. So you thought oh he's not that bad. Nah he was racist. So Yikes. yeah, no, I thought about all of his bad qualities and uh, it kept me kept me strong. Recently I can't say I've necessarily been rejected, rejected, sure. but it's just like, you know, you're trying to start something and it's just like a conversation or you exchange numbers. Mm -hmm. And it just doesn't go nowhere. And it's like 
When I say not going nowhere, I mean like my hotline don't blink. Oh no! Yeah! And it's just like, dang, we had this great combo. You know, we, it seemed like we were connecting and then it's like, well, guess not. But I guess it's my karma because I'm sure I've gotten plenty of numbers in the past and didn't do nothing with them. Mm. When that hotline don't blink, <laughs> you, oh, it you can know. only mean one. <laughs> my hotline hasn't blung for months now. <laughs> For real, I don't know. It's just becoming a part of my life, but I don't know. I feel a little Let's little all heartened. send good energies out into the universe for Deandra to get her hotline blown <laughs> Yes, hashtag hotline blown <laughs> Yeah, cuz that's the only that is exactly how we'll know you're referring to the show cuz nobody says that That's, that's not a hashtag <laughs> So, you know what I think Rolanda? What are some do's and don'ts about like how to react to getting rejected? Because I've done some don'ts, but then I've also done some do's. <laughs> okay, all right. Dealing with rejection. Don't. Number one, no revenge porn. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't, I'm I don't so care over how much someone has hurt your feelings. You don't yeah. put their yeah. nudity, nothing sexual about them on the internet. That's corny. It's, it's illegal. A lot and of it's places. corny. You know why it's corny? Because it's not like you're the side person. Mm -hmm. Like if we all know y'all was dating, then yeah. yeah, of course you're gonna have nudes and like porn it's on. No you know surprise. what I mean? Yeah, so it's like the fact that you're putting it out there to get back at that person, that's mad corny. It's just like tacky. You, that's it's tacky, it's messy, like we all know that you are, have been it's dating. It's abusive. Yeah. Like, it's trash. Now, if this person was like the side person, it would be T. You know, because well, it's like, I mean, no, don't do it. No, don't do it. Don't do it by any means. But I'm saying, oh, if I it mean, was the side person can tell their story, but not with pictures. Yeah, that's true. No. No, you shouldn't do it. But if you're in the relationship, it's like you're, look, you're just looked at as so corny. And if you're the side person, it's a little, little T. <laughs> no ribbon. <laughs> no. Do it. I've never done it. I'm just saying. Don't number two of how to deal with rejection. Don't like cause drama in that other person's life. Oh, like oh you know gosh. how some people it's like they'll get rejected like today, and then three months later the person will get like a, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, and then they'll try to make it seem like they was talking the whole time. Like. Come on, no, no. like take your L. No, Don't try yeah. to call it, start a story or start drama in that person's life just because they rejected you. That's disrespectful. That's mad corny. Don't, number three. Don't, even though you might really want to. <laughs> don't burn their house down. Yeah, don't pull a left out. No eye. damage to any property at all. Like don't bust, bust the windows, windows out the car. We know someone who's done that though. And when you hear the story, it's pretty dope. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. But no. <laughs> You're like, Deandra, are you doing or don't in? <laughs> don't. But if you do, make it a good story. Damn. <laughs> No, for real, don't do that because you co-signing a lot of these songs. Well, you, no, I'm not co-signing it on the broad sp spectrum. No, don't do it. But there are some specific times where it's like, mm, I don't think that person looks totally wrong. For real, don't do that because oh, that person can sue you for their stuff and yeah. get their money back. It yeah. won't. Be, it, it's not going to be full value, but they're still going to get your money. You know, it only ends up hurting you. You know what it is? Don't do anything that's gonna end up hurting you in the long run. For sure. That's how you just don't deal with rejection. You know, and also, I do wanna say, another way to not deal with rejection, don't, like, don't beat yourself up over it. Mm -hmm. We all get rejected. We are not for everyone. You know, not one person yeah. is not for everyone. You'll never be for everyone. Exactly, exactly. Thank God. <laughs> but, but, um, <laughs> No, for real, don't be so hard on yourself. That's why I, like, I'm like. i still being like lighthearted in myself. I'm not depressed sure, over no. you know, being rejected or whatever, but it's just like, you know, it's just a little feeling you get sometimes. For sure. It's, it's okay to, you know, feel a little bit rejected, but don't let that, don't question your character or yeah. how you look and stuff like that. Don't put the blame on you. Yeah, it's really, that, and that's another reason why I'm I mean, curious. unless in your introspection you notice that maybe there's something off about you. <laughs> hey, we're all about self-growth here when you're gonna regret I mean, this. You know, if you gotta grow, grow. 
But if you know you're kind of, you know, you're doing the best you can yeah. and you're living the best life yeah. that you are creating for yourself, then whose who's loss is it? You're getting the most out of life. Yeah. You don't want to get the most out of life? Well, you're lost for real. I feel that. I feel that. For you, it's a small loss. For them, it, it's a big loss. Like, what do you do? Yeah, let's say I'm you <laughs> Yeah, some dudes. Do spend your your time that you now have <laughs> focusing on yourself. Because yeah. like any time you're in a relationship, a person gets a lot of your attention. Yeah. And so, you know, appreciate that rejection because it's gonna allow you to, you know, be with you, learn you again. So true. Very, very true. I think my time being single, I really have been able to get to know myself more. And I mean, with the stuff that I do, you know, editing videos and stuff, right. that does take up a lot of my time. So it's like, sometimes when I feel rejected, it's like once I start actually getting into the flow of my week and doing stuff anyway, sure. sometimes I forget that. <laughs> I'm not, like I'm not talking to anyone. <laughs> Cause I'm just so busy anyway. So no, I mean, that's that's a great one. That is a great one. Another way to deal with rejection is, you know, really do that checklist, like Rolanda said. Mm -mm. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, okay? And I'm not saying this to be cocky, but I do realize my value as a person, and I know I have a lot to bring to the table. Do a checklist on yourself. What are you bringing to the table? And You know what I mean? So if it's like you get rejected, it's like, well, I mean, I got this going for me, I got that going for me, I got this and that. And when someone does want to be around me on a more consistent basis and date me seriously or whatever, I'm bringing this already. And that holds so much value that you shouldn't even be looking at people that's not worth your time. Mm -hmm. When you know you bring a lot to the table. Those standards go yeah, up. Yeah, for real. No, for real. And of course, when your standards go up and you stick to your standards, yeah. your dating pool will decrease. Because <laughs> you're not just going to date anyone. You know, you're dating people with certain qualities. But be prepared, your dating pool will decrease a little bit. But you know when you will do find someone in your dating pool, it'll be someone so worth it instead of wasting your time. Do you happen to have one more gym? Do you, boo? You know what, Rolanda always come in clutch. <laughs> that was the best one. Thank you, friend. <laughs> no, for real, do that's actually, you. Yeah, no, that's that's so a legit good. one. Like, really do you. Don't yeah. slow down for anyone. Don't try to compromise or change yourself unless it's in a better way. Yeah. Live your life. Add more things to your, be able to add more things to your checklist. You know what I mean? So, hey, good one, girl, yes, out here. Yes. Once again, I feel like we have just done our due diligence with our, our episodes. Yeah. So the time comes, as it always does. Do <laughs> you regret anything? No, not, <laughs> not, not completely. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we say stuff that we know may rock the boat, but eh, it's still coming from a real place. So it's I can't say yeah. whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't regret sharing my story of rejection. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> when she goes down memory lane, <laughs> this is where she goes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How about you? Do you have any regrets? Um, no, I don't think I regret anything. You, you know, even though I shared that part of myself, I don't regret it because it's still real. You know, I can't regret anything that's real that or coming from a real place. Yeah. yeah, and that's more important than trying to come off a certain way that I'm not. You know, because if you're an imposter, you need to get your life. So, <laughs> I already told you that. But, um, so, I guess if you want to, you know, swing our way so we don't get rejected, follow us on social media. I'm at Rolanda Larray on Twitter and Instagram. And you can follow me on all social media at It's Marie. So, <laughs> It's Marie and Rolanda. And we're out. <laughs>